Okay, the process starts with a sketch, very, very loose sketch. You see me drawing also a very tiny sketch on the side and that's just to get myself a reminder of what I'm trying to do. Since it's very loose, there isn't much detail so I don't get bogged down by it. I'll redo the sketch a couple times before I settle on one. First off, because the head doesn't really look good. So here I start a new sketch and I really, really like how it looks, especially the torso area. So I go on with it and I try to get my idea properly drawn so I don't have to worry about it in the future. This piece does have a lot of fixing in the future, like the head right now is going to be fixed in the sketch, but also in the painting stage is going to have a lot of fixes because the sketch wasn't quite right. Here I start with some base colors for the character and the background. This informed a lot of my choices in terms of lighting because I really like the colors and I didn't want to mess that up. Here I made her bigger so she would occupy more of the canvas because I felt she was too tiny for the amount of negative space there was on the piece. I generally want the character to occupy at least 50% of the canvas. Here I'm just rendering and cleaning things up, fixing some design issues that I had like one of the sleeves not being long enough. You're going to notice that this process is very organic. It doesn't have a stage after stage of rendering and line art and lighting because I'm working on one layer only and I tend to choose a very organic approach when I do things in one layer. I go back and forth between areas and I find it really fun for this kind of one day projects. So I'm going to be cleaning things up everywhere. I'm just going to take that scissor. I'm gonna make it the best looking scissor in the world. Not really, I'm gonna come back to it in the future. That arm is really, really, really long. So that's going to also change in the future. I'm going to focus on the face for now because it looks like garbage. And the first thing I notice is really, really small. So I enlarge everything. You can see how that brings some issues with the background being all in one layer, but those are going to be fixed very soon. The hair did not want to cooperate, so it looked like garbage up until pretty much the very end of the piece, which was kind of funny, kind of stressful because I really wanted to finish it in one day. I didn't want it to take me another couple of days to finish it. I realized that the head looked way too big with that kind of hair, so I fixed that. I also am going to fix the ear because right now it's coming out of the back of her neck, which is a very weird position for an ear. I cannot believe <laughs> I didn't see it before. So after that, I fixed the arm's length and the scissors handle and some small details here and there. Repaint a bit of the background and that's pretty much it. There isn't much more to the piece, so that's it for the video. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them down below. Cheers and have a nice week. Mwah.